poor have a shot, the wealthy do well. But the wealthy got to start paying their taxes. As a follow-up, sir, you mentioned that your Vice President Kamala Harris would be ready to serve on day one. Can you elaborate on that? What is it about her attributes and her accomplishments over the last four years that make her ready to serve on day one, if necessary? First of all, the way she's handled the issue of freedom of women's bodies to have control over their bodies. Secondly, her ability to handle almost any issue on the board. This was a hell of a prosecutor. She was a first-rate person, and, and in the Senate, she was really good. I wouldn't have picked her unless I thought she was qualified to be president from the very beginning. I made no bones about that. She is qualified to be president. That's why I picked her. Felicia Schwartz, Financial Times. Thank you, Mr. President. The <clears throat> presidency is the most straining job in the world, and it's 24-7. How can you say you'll be up for that next year, in two years, in four years, given the limits you've acknowledged that you have today? The limits I've acknowledged I have? There's been reporting that you've acknowledged that you need to go to bed earlier and your evening around 8. That's not true. Look, <laughs> what I said was, Instead of my every day starting at 7 and going to bed at midnight, it'd be smarter for me to pace myself a little more. And I said, for example, the 8, 7, 6 stuff, instead of starting a fundraiser at 9 o'clock, start at 8 o'clock. People get to go home by 10 o'clock. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about. And if you look at my schedule since, I've, since I made that stupid mistake of, in the campaign, in the, in the debate, I mean, my schedule has been full bore. I've done, where's, when, where's Trump been? Riding around in his golf cart, filling out his scorecard before he hits the ball? I mean, look, uh, he's done virtually nothing. And I have, I don't know how many, I don't hold me to it, roughly 20 major events. Someone with thousands of people showing up. And so I just think it's better. I always have an, an inclination whether I was playing sports or doing politics, just to keep going, not stop. I just got to just pace myself a little more. Pace myself. And the next debate, I'm not going to be traveling into 15 time zones a week before. <laughs> anyway, that, that, that's what it was about. That's what it was about. And by the way, even with that, I love my staff. But they add things. They add things all the time, at the very end. I'm catching hell from my wife for that. Anyway, um, I'm sorry, uh, Zeke Miller, Associated Press. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, two questions for you. 